Thank you so much for having me today. What can we do throughout our daily lives and routines in an accessible way to prevent cognitive impairment or dementia like Alzheimer's disease? This is what my team wants to know. We focus on promoting lifestyle health behaviors or activities that we can do as part of our routines and daily lives to impact cognition before signs of impairment occurs. Our team has also found that certain patient characteristics can disproportionately increase risk for cognitive impairment, like being of self-reported female sex or having chronic health conditions like cardiovascular disease. I'm going to highlight just one of our exciting trials funded by NIH, which tests our very practical mind moves lifestyle intervention for cognitive function in older women with cardiovascular disease. Mind Moves is our combined lifestyle intervention specifically for women with cardiovascular disease. Mind is our cognitive training intervention. These are mentally challenging exercises, kind of like brain games that patients do on an iPad that we provide. We use a fairly accessible off-the-shelf program called Brain HQ. MOVE is our evidence-based lifestyle physical activity program that's been shown to improve and maintain physical activity over three years in women. We provide a personalized physical activity goal or prescription. They get a Fitbit to track steps and goal setting, and they also attend five group meetings. Now, this was a trial fully conducted during the COVID-19 pandemic, when patients with cardiovascular disease needed a safe, practical, and home-based option when we found that a lot of our patients didn't want to come to lab or uh, clinic settings. We were able to reach our goals surrounding recruitment, retention, and timelines by offering of this virtual home-based option where they could safely and conveniently work on lifestyle health behaviors at their own speed with the bonus of potentially impacting memory and thinking or future risk of dementia over time. So overall, we're looking forward to having this work hopefully inform future studies where we can look at preventing dementia in populations that may be more vulnerable for risk through these accessible lifestyle-focused interventions. Thank you.